Hey there, Gemini. Uh, welcome to your reading for the week of April 24th. Uh, this week, definitely check out astrojar.com for more awesome readers and astrologers. But let's see what is going on for you this week. Definitely looks like a better, uh, a better week, I think, for you this week. Uh, you start off with the Seven of Clubs. I think that for you, this is actually a card of thinking. Normally, I say this is a card of success. This card leads to more success. It's about growth, abundance, and all these other things. So it is, it's a good card. It's a great card of friends as well, of dealing with friends, being with friends, all this other stuff. But I really think that this week, this is about you and your thoughts being more aligned with the truth, your thoughts being more clear. I think that um, also that, uh, what was I going to say? I was going to say that I think even with this Mercury retrograde, um, uh, you know, you know, I think this week is a little bit of a, a clearer week, even um, for Taurus, the same message kind of came up that, you know, regardless of the retrograde, it's still going to be um, kind of like just a more thoughtful week, a time where maybe things are a little bit less confusing. Um, but I also think that there could be a lot of surprises for you this week. It's a very exciting card, and it's kind of a card of uh, things just jumping into existence for you, literally. So a lot of you could have a lot of surprises and a lot of opportunities that you need to jump on this week. And I normally wouldn't say that with this card, but again, uh, you have this, but and also you have the Jack of Hearts next. And I think like the Jack of Hearts is a card of jumping onto opportunities and kind of not thinking about things. Uh, so let's actually pick that up. Uh, Jack of Hearts, like I said, I, th I feel like the message coming from this card this week is that you might have some opportunities that you're going to have to jump on, and there's not really going to be any time to think about it. Um, it, you know, I just don't think there's going to be an option. So this could be at work where maybe a boss comes to you and says, hey, we need somebody to fill this position. And, you know, do you want to do it? I need to know, like, right now. And, and you won't really have time to make a decision. Um, also, uh, could be in a relationship. Maybe you have the opportunity to go out with somebody that you just met or something like that. And again, you're not going to really have time to think about it. The Jack is, uh, you know, the Jack of Hearts is blind. You can even see on this deck he is... Uh, blindfolded so you know he can't see necessarily what's on the other side of whatever he is about to jump into but it's definitely a card of more trusting your intuition on something so if you feel like you should take an, a sudden opportunity this week i would say jump on it uh next you have the ace of clubs a card of abundance and success so again i think in a lot of ways this is representing a sudden opportunity coming to you and probably one where you will have to learn or you'll have to learn to do new things again this for some of you i do feel like this could be a short opportunity maybe something that doesn't last very long or maybe it's temporary if it's at work maybe it's only like a temporary project or something along those lines but i do think that there could be like kind of a big reward for doing it maybe you know, like a chunk of cash all at once, or maybe in a relationship, it's a car, uh, uh, you know, it's a kind of a relationship that teaches you something or leads you to somebody um, who you're going to spend the rest of your life with. So definitely pay attention to that. For others of you, I think this is a card that, again, just represents a good learning opportunity, uh, time for learning. Uh, next, you have the Ten of Diamonds. Again, another card of surprises. You have like every single card of surprises here this week um also a card of prosperity and abundance and more money coming to you so definitely a very good work card very good card for um money coming in and uh, again a great card for promotions new jobs new new business opportunities if you don't have a job and you are looking for one this card says um to apply to more places apply to as many places as you can this is a card of opportunity as well same with that uh, ace of clubs six of clubs these are all cards of opportunity so when you get these cards, and if you're looking for like a job, for example, like I said, uh, these cards want you to apply to as many places as you can. And uh, same thing with relationships. If you are looking for a solid relationship, these cards want you to date or, you know, meet multiple people. They don't want you to just like do one thing, just date one person or just try to get one job. They uh, These are cards of experience. Uh, Ten of Diamonds in particular, again, um, you're getting some weird messages this week, but Ten of Diamonds in particular is a card of experience and having a bunch of experiences, mostly so that you can learn or so that you can um, really be more sure of what you want. A lot of times with the Ten of Diamonds, um, especially again in dating, you might think that you're attracted to a certain type of person. And this is a time where maybe you date a certain type of person, but maybe like multiples of that type of person. And uh, you find out you really don't like that type of person, you know, or uh, same thing with work. It's, it's one of those things where maybe you apply to a bunch of places, but then all of a sudden you find something that's maybe a little bit different, but better. 
um, just because you kind of went out there and, and pounded the pavement, so to speak. Next, you have the Seven of Hearts. Uh, almost everybody has had this card this week. I don't know why. Card of Doubts. Having doubts about things. I would say probably because of uh, Uranus this week and, you know, just bringing in doubts and um, surprises and anxieties and things like that. So, uh, Sevens represent internal fears that do not exist. So, definitely let that stuff go. Uh, and finally, we have the Nine of Spades. I would say because of the retrograde, you are thinking about past disappointments and you could be allowing yourself to. Um, you know, allowing those past disappointments to hold you back this week. So try to let go of past disappointments at this time. But looks like a great week. So thank you for watching and enjoy.